afternoon, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel, JPM.Cuisine. Today for you, we're gonna be doing our four month plus review of the Daostrung Shogun Series X knives that I have. Uh, this was the knife, or this is the set that I showcased in my six, eight, and 10, uh, a little parody of the good, bad, and the ugly. But uh, in terms of chef's knives, we always uh, wonder why we would need a six inch or 10 inch uh, or an eight inch or multiple sizes in that manner uh, versus just one. And just to reiterate from that, if you only have one, the eight inch is the most versatile. If you have the ability or luxury, uh, depending on the task, you know, either 10 inch or six inch might suit you better. Uh, space is an issue, six inch might be better. Uh, space isn't an issue. Uh, the 10 inch definitely can do the same thing as the eight inch or the six inch. Just requires a little bit more space and it's got a little bit more weight on it. That being said, let's go ahead and get into the weight of these knives just so we can see if there's any variance. Okay. All right, so the six inch in grams, we're looking at 233 uh, or 234, a whopping 234. That's pretty heavy for a six inch. Let's go with the eight inch. 279, uh, 280 on the eight inch. So that's 234, 280. And on the 10 inch, we're looking at 306, 306 for the 10 inch. Okay, so let's talk about these knives. Um, again, they're Dow Strong. These are the Shogun Series X. Uh, as you can tell, there's some variance between these knives, even though they're from the same series. And that is the eight inch has the round hammered Sichime with a Aus 10V and the knives that I have in the six and the 10 inch are VG 10s. Um, they all have the same Galarite, 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 anyways, it's G10 uh, handles with the uh, rose style inlay on the center rivet, triple riveted with the contour uh, on the, uh, on the grips or handles themselves. As you can see the shape, uh, more reminiscent, uh, reminiscent of a Kyoto style profile with the uh, six inch uh, having sort of a, a mix between sort of like a Deva uh, or maybe even sort of like that Petty. Anyways, so let's talk about how these knives have performed over the time. Now again, I got the eight inch way early compared to the 10 and the six inch uh, and they have been serving me well. There have been no uh, chips or cracks uh, in any of them. Just doing a double check right here. Yeah, that one's a lot stiffer, but that's an eight inch. Very stiff, six inch. Yeah, there hasn't been any chips or cracks in these, but that's because I haven't been using these on bone or frozen food. Now, um, the one exception is I started to debone some chickens and do some lollipop chicken, working with some wings. And I went to reach for one of these and then uh, quickly changed my mind and grabbed a different knife, a much softer knife, in order to uh, alleviate the fact that I didn't want to get a chip in one of these knives. So those are not the task for these knives. So take that into consideration if you are working with uh, a type of meat or anything that has a lot of bone, you, ha you run the risk of potentially chipping these knives uh, in that situation. Now, granted, they can still chip even if you don't. Any knife can chip. Uh, I've got some X50s that have chipped. Um, I've seen knives of every sort sort of chip. Uh, and sometimes the chipping can't be explained. Sometimes it can. Uh, but for me and my behavior, I never put these in the dishwasher. I never throw them in the sink. I usually wash them and dry them and hang them up or put them in uh, the racks immediately after. Um, I don't always inspect them. Sometimes it does get late and I may just you know, do a quick rinse or wash. Anytime I'm working with acidic food, I'll definitely use soap. Um, if it's something that's 
minor, let's say I'm cutting through bread and something, I may just do a rinse and then uh, put them up after drying, of course. Um, let's see, what else can I say about these knives? You know, for the, for the price points, they always feel good. I really like the weight and the feel of these knives. Um, I like the rock with them. Um, I like the profile a lot. I probably use the 10 inch and the six inch more than I use the eight inch. Uh, just because I'm, you know, always trying to see what specific uses I can do with the uh, six and the 10 that might be more beneficial than using an eight. But honestly, after this amount of time, uh, it's going to come down primarily to preference for me of a six, eight or 10. There really isn't that major advantage aside from a little bit less cleaning time with the six inch because I don't, obviously don't have to wash and dry as much. Uh, but honestly, that's just like the length of the wipe, not necessarily uh, minutes or, or hours in that sense. Um, with the 10 inch, I do have to be aware of the space that I have. So if I'm in a limited space and my tip starts to extend beyond the board, I can have a problem there. Um, and I don't want to dull these or run them into anything that they shouldn't be run into. All right, that being said, let's go ahead and cut into a tomato. And I'll just demonstrate briefly with all three. So I haven't used a honing rod or a whetstone on any of these knives. And I've done some reading and, you know, it goes back and forth whether or not you should actually use a wet, or not a whetstone, but a, a sharpening stone. Oh, sorry. Whether or not you should use a honing rod or sharpening steel on the Japanese style knives. Um, so I haven't used anything on them anyways, but I really haven't needed. So let's go ahead and see if I can get some cuts um, out of this tomato. We'll just straighten that out. Okay. <laughs> let's just get this piece off. Okay. Wipe it down, go slow. So pierce the skin. Not that much finesse, but it is cutting. A little bit of seesaw action. I'm gonna hit that one. Try the eight inch. So they definitely, this one specifically, could benefit from uh, a touch up, okay? So while it's sharp enough to, to cut through something, uh, it doesn't have that same sort of sharpness that could be this tomato, I doubt it. Yeah, it doesn't have the same level of sharpness from when I first used it or first opened it. So let's go ahead and try the 10. The 10 inch I've been using a lot more, but as you can see, um, it still maintains its edge. Uh, it... There we go. So it's still cut. Um, the 10 inch has definitely had its edge a little bit long, longer than the other knives now. Um, See, I'm trying to remember the exact date. It's probably around December or January that I've had these knives. So we're a little bit over four months, but uh, this one was maybe October or November. Um, but they're not going to um, be some sort of super, super type of superhero steel or something like that where they don't require any kind of maintenance at all. They will require some edge maintenance, um, even though they're VG10 or OS10. Um, it's still sharp. It doesn't smush the tomato. It, you know, it seems like it cuts very fine. It's not going to look like a uh, um, a cheaper style steel. Where yeah, that one's really nice. But they do benefit from a little bit of a hone or something. Again, I have to do some research to see the best way to hone a Japanese uh, style knife. If it's not a sharpening steel or a honing rod, what is it? Okay. So it still cuts. They cut very nicely. Um, maybe just not laterally like that. With the weight of the tomato. Yeah. So 
the tip, it definitely needs a little bit of work. See there. Same thing there. And that's eight inch, I don't know, I don't wanna cut there though. Yeah, so, so don't let the illusion fool you. Don't let VG10 fool you guys. They do require some maintenance. So uh, a lot of people will tell you, oh, I never have to sharpen my knife. I guarantee you right now that this knife is gonna require some sharpening. This knife, maybe not as much, but definitely require at least a touch up. And this knife will definitely require some touch up. Uh, the heels typically seem to work a little bit better because um, you're not necessarily using those as much or as often as you use the tip. So that's why you'll see they at least cut through. Um, but it's still good knives, okay? So anybody who was uh, looking to purchase a VG10 style knife, you know, these or an Aus 10 style knife, thinking that you're not gonna have to maintain it, that is a myth, okay? Let's go ahead and cut up some potato. All right, here we go. A whopping potato. Now, obviously, as you can see, that this potato is roughly the length of the knife. And to square it off, you can, um, maybe not necessarily the best tool for this if you're trying to make large planks. Of course, you can, you know, do multiple cuts, but it's just more effective to use a longer knife for longer vegetables. And as you can see, the longest knife makes it that much easier to have a little bit of an additional room on your knife, on your edge, allows you that much more uh, motion. Okay, so we'll take that out of the way. Again, when it's smaller, you can still do it. Um, you know, just have to have very precise motions. It's easy to get off track. Um, so if you're trying to do anything, again, I like the six inch and smaller, the best for a sort of garnish or very precise cuts, but not necessarily big cuts or a lot of tear down or breakdown. This right here isn't necessarily the most effective for that. Again, but this one, you know, it's kind of the in-between. And this 10 inch, let's move this. While you can do it, it's a little, you're a little bit far away, especially if you're trying to do tip work. So your angle and your view is a little bit different and you may or may not be getting the most precise cuts uh, from that knife. All right, well this has been, a quick look, almost the knife on it. Don't do that. All right, this has been a, a quick look at my VG10s. This is sort of the four month review. It's a little bit longer, um, but I wanted you guys to see how the Dow Strongs perform uh, and uh, share with you the fact that if it's a VG10 or harder still, they still need to have some maintenance on the edge. They are not going to um, maintain their edge for life. All right. Well, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next